A little background for newcomers. These are Pika screws. They have a sleek, unbroken metal top until a central plunger is depressed to reveal the drive slot. New capability unlocked, Pika screws on both sides. And that takes us to the thumbnail photo shoot. I have had a lot of conversations with different saw brands about using Pika screws to fix handles to blades. And all of those conversations have fizzled out because I only had half the solution. I decided to do something about that um, and cut the arms off a t-shirt and tell you about it. First, let's get rid of this stock handle and build the new one. And I forgot to turn the camera on for this one, but it was like, uh, get the handle. I think that for most saws, the smaller Pika screw is going to end up being the better choice. Uh, so I started out thinking that I was going to use the smaller screw, but on this project, since it's just, uh, just one screw holding the blade on, I actually, and it's a pretty big saw, I thought maybe the big one would be better, but turns out I didn't make the blank quite big enough, so I had to glue on an extra piece. I'm kind of glad actually, because I think this gives me an opportunity to put a little bit more interesting curve on the handle. Someday this GoPro will die a violent death, but not today. And the solution is a lock nut. Look at that. It looks just like a Pika screw on one side, but the Pika screw threads into it to sandwich, in this case, the blade and the handle. I did have to modify this a little bit. So listen, saw brands, it'll take a little bit of doing, a little bit of redesign to uh, incorporate the Pika screw, but how cool would it look with your logo on that guy? Man. I'm sure you can think of many non-saw handle applications for these nuts. Pre-sale link in description if you want to put in an order. Thank you for watching.